Hello children. Welcome to another radio learning program for P4 Science. This is one of the continuation of the programs produced by Rwanda Education Board with the support from UNICEF Rwanda and in partnership with Inspire, Educate and Empower Rwanda. My name is teacher Gerald. I will be teaching primary for science. Children, as always, get your pens and notebooks ready. Sit next to the radio. Tune it to be loud enough and be ready to listen to it keenly. Parents, we would love to see your active participation in sitting next to the child and then support the child where necessary. Now, children, our song as a warm-up is the same as last time. Who can remember our song? Good. Our song was a hello song. We are going to sing hello, hello two times. And today, I am not going to sing first to remind you, but I will count one, two, three. Then we start singing together. We will sing two times. Is that clear? Great. It is hello, hello song. Good. Now, one, two, three, sing. Hello, 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 hello. Hello, how are you? Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, how are you? I'm fit. I'm great. I am wonderful. I'm fit. I'm great. I am wonderful. Hello, hello. Hello, how are you? Again. Hello, hello. Hello, 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 how are you? Hello, 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 how are you? I'm fit, I'm great, I am wonderful, I'm fit, I'm great, I am wonderful, hello, 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 how are you? Oh, that is great. Okay, children. Can you remember what we learned about last time? Good. We learned about animals and classification of animals according to the backbone. Is that correct, children? Perfect, 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 perfect. I like that. Now, can you remember the two main groups of animals? Hmm, that is good. The two main groups of animals are the vertebrates and invertebrates. The vertebrates and invertebrates. Is that right? Very good. Now, children, among the vertebrates, we talked about mammals and birds. We were seeing some of their characteristics of animals or mammals and birds. Today, we will continue with that. We are still continuing with the vertebrates. And we will start with the fish. Are we together? Yes, we are continuing with the fish as a vertebral animal, an animal with the backbone, the vertebrates. Fish, you have written that one down. Good. The following are some Characteristics of fish. Fishes live in water. 
Number two, they have a backbone. Number three, they have a streamlined body. Children, like we mentioned streamlined bodies in birds, fishes also have streamlined body. What is this streamlined body? Now, a streamlined body is a body that is narrow. It is narrow. It is not so big, not so wide. It looks thin and it makes something like a line. But no, it is just a, like a thick line. Which will allow this kind of animal to move easily. If it is a bird, it can move easily in the air. If it is a fish, it can move easily in water. That is what we call the streamlined body. Do you understand? Great. Fishes have scales on their skin. They don't have hairs. They don't have feathers. But they have scales. Scales. S-C-A-L-E-S. Scales. They have scales on their skin. Number five, they breathe through the gills. Do you understand? Marvelous. I like that. Come along and play with us. My friends, tilapia is the best example of a fish. How many of you like eating tilapia? Wow, I also like eat, eating tilapia. Very nice fish. Let us see the external features of tilapia. They have the nostrils. A fish uses it to detect food. The nostrils are just to detect food, not for breathing. Because fish breathes through the gills. Tilapia has got a dorsal fin. The fish uses it for balancing and protection. Dorsal fin. I'm spelling dorsal. D-O-R-S-A-L. Dorsal. The dorsal fin. The fish has got scales. The fish has got caudal fin. Caudal fin. The tail fin is called caudal fin. I'm spelling caudal. C A U D A L caudal they have caudal fin the fish uses it for steering it is the tail fin that makes it move left and right and front do you get that great it also has pelvic fin the pelvic fin P E L V I C pelvic the pelvic fin the fish uses it for steering as well it also helps the fish in steering then the last fin is called pectoral fin pectoral fin P E C T O R A L pectoral fin the fish uses it for turning when it turns left and right. Now, the internal features of tilapia. The main internal body parts of a tilapia are the gills. Are we together? It also has got the food channel. Are we together? Right. Let us now see the reptiles. The group number four of vertebrates is the reptiles. Reptiles like the tortoise, the snake. Oh, the snake. The snake. I fear the snake. Do you also fear the snake? Ooh, we fear the snake because it can bite you and it cause death. It can cause death. 
But now we are studying. We want to know about them. Reptiles examples are tortoise, the snake, the crocodile, and others. These animals are called reptiles. They are called reptiles. They have the following characteristics. They have a backbone. They move by crawling. I'm spelling crawling. C R A W L I N G crawling. What does it mean to crawl? To crawl means to move down closer to the ground. Some are just on the ground. They wriggle and they move on the ground. Some of the reptiles that have got limbs, their limbs are short and therefore the body is just close to the ground. Do you understand? Great. Reptiles also have scales on their bodies. They have scales on their body. They lay eggs on land. Are we together? Great. Now, we said that we all fear the snake. Even me, I fear the snake. But what can we do? We have to learn about it such that we can equally be careful with it. Is that correct? Great. Snake is the best example of reptiles. It possesses a backbone and scales on its body. It moves by crawling. It also lays eggs. The external features of a snake include right external features of a snake. The head. On the head, there are eyes, nostrils, mouth, and the brain. Snakes also have got scales on their body. Scales help them from wearing away. Wearing away here means the skin being torn away. And scales also help them to move. Snakes have the tail. The tail is the end part of the body of a snake, but it also helps the snake for very fast movement. Do you understand? Great. The internal features of a snake, the ones that we want to talk about, the intestines. The snakes that are living in water, they also have gills. The gills help them to breathe. A snake have the liver. The liver secretes bile, which helps in the digestion of fats. They also have the stomach. They have small intestines. And they also have the large intestines. Is that right? Very good. Now, the next group is amphibians. Amphibians like the frog, the lizard, the salamander, ETC. Amphibians. I am spelling amphibians. A M P H I B I A N S. Amphibians. Good. These animals are called amphibians. They have the following characteristics. Amphibians have a backbone. They can live on both land and water, like the frog. You have seen when it rains or in some dams, the frog can jump and then stays in water. 
it can also stay on land. They have a smooth, slimy skin. A smooth, slimy skin. Some of the amphibians have a hard skin. A frog is the best example of amphibian. It possesses all that which we have said. It lives on both land and in water. It has no scales on its body. The external features of a frog, the head, the thorax, the abdomen, and the legs. The internal features of a frog, the heart, the stomach, the intestine. Is that correct? Wow, my friends, invertebrates. Let us now see the invertebrates. The invertebrates, they don't have the backbone. Do you understand? Yes. The best example is the earthworm, the caterpillar, and the butterfly. These are some of the characteristics of invertebrates. They do not have the backbone. They cannot make their own food. Some of them have hard body covering. They make their young ones. Among the invertebrates, we have the butterflies, the housefly, the locust. You have ever seen some of these insects. How many legs do these animals have? Good. The following are some characteristics of Insects. Insects have six legs and the legs are jointed. Two together, they are in pairs. Do you understand? Great. So each insect has a pair of antenna or feelers. They have got something at the top of the head. Those ones are antenna or the feelers. Insects, like butterflies, have a proboscis. Say proboscis. Good. I'm spelling. P-R-O-B-O-S-C-I-S. Proboscis. The proboscis are used to suck nectar from flowers. Do you understand? Wow. The body of a butterfly is made up of the head, the thorax, and abdomen. Most insects have wings and can fly. Insects, they breathe through their spiracles or air holes. Spiracles. I'm also spelling spiracles. S P I R A C L E S spiracles or the air holes. Have you understood? That is great. Now, as we end the lesson, I would like you to look at your textbooks, set primary four, pages 185 to 192. You will find the pictures of some animals. You may read through and compare your notes still. Until we meet in the next radio lesson, bye-bye. Goodbye, 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 teacher. Goodbye, children. See you next time. Goodbye, 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 teacher.